spot at the moment. Well, the athletes ready on the track for the first of two heats in the women's uh, 3,000 metres. And uh, the qualifying, just to make it clear for you, first four in each heat with four fastest losers going through to uh, tomorrow evening's final. It's at uh, 6.50 local time, 5.50 in the UK. Don't forget that through tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, you'll be able to see uh, all the athletics here from uh, Prague on Eurosport. So uh, we won't be leaving you to miss anything at all. Ten athletes in this uh, first heat, and uh, Laura Muir goes in this one, better known as a 1,500-metre runner. Anything under nine minutes is pretty solid uh, running, but uh, only a handful of women this year in Europe have gone significantly under nine minutes. Laura Muir is amongst them. She's the second fastest in Europe with uh, that running Karlsruhe, what, some five weeks or so ago, the Scott. There she is, right in the centre. Laura Muir, Korobkina, the uh, European number one from Russia, goes in the second heat. There's Svetlana Kudzelic, uh, goes in this uh, first heat. Kudzelic of Belarus, an 8.55 performer. But uh, those are not really world-class times, I have to tell you. Well, sub nine minutes is good running. It's uh, probably worth, I reckon, about 8.10 for a man. So that puts it in perspective. If you go back right back down to the world best time, that, it's around 8.5, 8.10 for a man, uh, nine minutes for a woman. So Laura Muir here is about a 7.52, 7.55 performer for a man. But she's come on the scene, Martin, very quickly indeed, has the Britain Scottish record holder at 1,500 metres. She's only 21 coached by Andy Young and what a good job he's done she made the Commonwealth Games 1500 final last summer although she didn't really do herself justice um, has had a busy indoor season winning the UK 1500 title she's got leg speed as well hasn't she good leg very speed very close to uh, she's also got different coloured minutes. spikes on <laughs> <laughs> there she is green and blue why not colours of the day all the rage these days yeah she's a 2 minute 800 metre runner is Laura Muir Quickest in this field on this season's form. So where they go then, the 10 athletes in this uh, field. Mizmas in there for Slovenia. And has uh, almost broken nine minutes this year. Other athletes who have done that, apart from Laura Muir with her 8.49, include uh, Maureen Costa of the Netherlands, 8.51. Uh, Svetlana Kudlazilic, we saw earlier, 8.55, and Julia Viola of Italy is an 8.56 performer. But uh, Fugberg, for example, Sweden's uh, Charlotte Fugberg, has a personal best of 9.07 and a season's best of 9.13. I mean, you know, I much admire these athletes for being the best in their country, or amongst the best in their country, but 9.13 is, well, that's, that's national standard. It's nowhere near international class for 3,000 metres. Let's see how Fugberg goes here. She's in third place, just tucked in there behind Ericsson, the early leader in this uh, 3,000 metres. First heat of two for the ladies. Fastest time in the world this year is 8.47 by Korobkina of uh, Russia. But the standards are way, way down compared with those of years gone by. European uh, record, 8.27. Fully 20 seconds quicker than the fastest time in Europe this year. Let me pose a question to you, Tim. Here we go. We've got looking for 12 qualifiers for the final. Four from this heat, first four. First four from the second heat. Four fast losers. Now, you and I know that those fast, fastest four losers will be dictated almost as much by the pace of the two races. You're going into the first heat, you've got nothing to work on other than the fact that you know you're finishing the first four. Maybe you think you might be struggling. What do you do? Do you just ignore the clock? Uh, yeah, I think you have to ignore the clock unless you feel you're capable of um, pushing the pace along for the first two-thirds of the distance. Because if you do make it a healthy pace, after all, and you make it a quickish race, then you should be able to finish the first six, maybe even the first eight, and still get a qualifying spot. It's a policy, I must admit, I don't agree with. I think they should have said the first six in each heat and leave it like that. Don't have fastest loser spots, because the athletes in the second race are at a, at a distinct advantage because they know how fast they've got to run. They know whether they need to push the pace along or not after the first, having seen the times from the first heat. 
Oh, here goes uh, Sabera of Poland. This vaulting competition continuing to go on. And uh, well, we're looking to whittle it down to the leading eight here. But this is Sobera. No, Sobera there at five meters seventy. Yeah, yeah the blink catch up here, Mars, aren't they? The blink catch up these jumps were uh, some time ago. As we see uh, Germany's Sherbert, Tobias Sherbert, equaling his season's best there with the 570. Took two volts at 545, did Sherbert, the 29 uh, year old. And in fact, sir. Uh, he has qualified with that. So we're just sort of tidying up the tail end of this competition. And I, I had a question mark about what they would do about uh, eighth place because Anton Ivarkin and Valentin Lavillene were together in a share of eight spots. So in other words, eighth and ninth. And of course, there's only place for eight athletes in the final. I think what they've decided to do is to take the leading nine. So they've extended it there. So here we go with uh, Peter Lisek. He too going over there at 5 metres 70. The poles, as you'd expect, going through in this competition. So two poles and two Lavillenes in the final. Which means two Frenchmen, of course. Nice clip. 570 is very, very solid vaulting indeed. At least that's, uh, you know, you're getting, you're, you're banging into world-class territory there compared with that men's long jump competition last night where not one single competitor in the qualifying for that discipline could reach eight metres. And there it is, uh, just tidies it up. Those are the uh, men who will make the final, even though nobody needed to get to the 575. Automatic qualifying standard. Russian Gripic along with Sobera his teammate Lisek Ivarkin making it two uh, Russians so two Russians, two Poles two French, both La Villanese. and despite the personal best for Salas 5 metres 60, he uh, finishes 10th and just missing out I'm afraid Minaldo no mark, goodness me, I never expected uh, any French Volta to at least give a reasonable account for himself well, five minutes on the clock, so uh, we're well past halfway in this 3,000. Laura Muir there has just sort of breathed to the front without really having to work at it because uh, it has been uh, desperately slow so far. Uh, indeed, still the Slovenian holding our pole position at the moment. And that's uh, coming th down the back straight is uh, Marusa Mizmas in that uh, green strip. Laura Muir doing everything right, just touched on the shoulder of Ms. Mass. Anybody that wants to come past them has got to go very wide indeed. In third place behind them is Kudzilic of uh, Belarus. Moving down the outside now, the big figure of Maureen Costa of the Netherlands. And he sh she hits the front with five laps to go. 2,604. The winning time is not going to be uh, much inside nine minutes, even if they uh, go hard from here. Muir though, as somebody else takes over the lead, again just repositions herself and uh, settles into second place once more. She's uh, running textbook qualifying race at the moment. Doesn't nearly need to, need to run hard. I mean, I would hope that Laura Muir will check around her in the latter stages after a 34 second lap and uh, when it really counts, do just enough to uh, qualify. You can see Mizmas now in fifth place, beginning to struggle, bodies going past her. Led the first 2,000, but not at a tempo that would really question anybody. Costa, well, she's a big woman for a middle distance runner, but uh, very effective nonetheless. Third fastest in Europe with 8.51 this winter. And they come through now with the uh, Three laps to run, that's a 35.1, it's got even slower. 
So a little bit of bunching behind them in this group of seven. And beginning to suffer back there is the uh, German Klauser. Really struggling and going backwards fast. You know, championships is over. Intense focus on the face of Kudzelic of Belarus in third spot behind this leading pair. Yes, and this will be a source of encouragement to the athletes running that second heat because they went through 2,000 metres in 6.04 and it looks unlikely that they're going to break nine minutes here. So any sort of decent tempo in the second heat could see more than four go through. Ericsson in fourth, Mismas in fifth. She's uh, stuck at it doggedly as the Slovenian. You kind of want her to get through, don't you, to at least get through as the fastest loser. She did so much of the work to set this race up, even if it wasn't particularly quick. But as they come round towards the bell now, Laura Muir still right there at the front on the shoulder of the Dutch leader. And they go through. 34.53 that lap, it's gone 34.6, 35.1, 35.1, 34.6, it's uh, not been quick. And remember those four spots there, Mismas in fifth place, pumping hard with the arms, desperately trying to stay with this leading quartet. Laura Muir at a canter here, just beginning to lengthen her stride a little bit. She's a lovely looking runner, right up on her toes, Laura Muir here as she eases uh, alongside the shoulder of Maureen Costa of the Netherlands. They're one and two, and oh, my word, that was tight. And I'll tell you what, I've just got a feeling that Kutzelic, the third fastest in Europe this winter, is she? No, she's not, but she was, um, she was the second fastest in the race. Might have been run out of that. Winning time, 8.57.59. The final kilometre works out at about uh, 2.53, something like that, because remember they went through 2K and 6.04. But uh, Costa and uh, Muir going through by right. I've rather got a feeling that Mismas sneaked through on the inside there and could have taken a qualifying spot by right. We'll have to uh, find out. And if we can't do it now, we'll do it for you in uh, just a couple of minutes' time as we head off to uh, pay the bills, which I'm sure you'll sympathise with. With the Eurosport app, get live coverage of all your favourite sports. Check on the fortunes of your favourite teams and players. Follow the matches and events live. Download now. Eurosport, the benchmark in sports apps. Score is available on the iPhone and iPad for free. Every competition, every result, live comments. Eurosport Live Score, available on the App Store. Welcome back. Well, confirmation of that uh, result from the first heat of the women's 3,000 metres. Maureen Costa of the Netherlands winning an 8.57.59, right alongside a Laura Muir there for Great Britain. Mismas did go through for Slovenia. The uh, Athlete who led so much of the race with a personal best 8.57, great for her. She sneaked through on the inside for third. And in uh, fourth place, Eriksson of, uh, of Finland. And Kudzelic was indeed denied a fourth place qualifying spot as we see Sweden's uh, Fugberg uh, behind uh, the Belarus athlete. A personal best for Fugberg, that's brilliant running in 9.01. And Vent of uh, Austria too, 